पहले शेर तो सुन ले आप लोग प्रेजेंटेशन तो हो ही गई आदि से ज्यादा आंख का बिनाई से मंजर का अपने अक्स से रिश्ता नाजुक सा है लेकिन जोड़ते जाते हैं हम मोतिया बंद आंख से हम मुचक लेते हैं यूं अज सहाय चश्म को जोड़ते जाते हैं हम अपने जाद लुती साहब को देखा कैसे घुमाया उन्होंने विंड मिल की तरह एक अक्से मुंतशिर को देखना है मुर्तकिस अ ब्रोकन इमेज नीड्स टू बी सीन कंपोज अगेन एक अक्से मुंतशिर को देखना है मुर्तकिस रेजा हाय आईना जोड़ते जाते हैं हम दैट्स वाई आई एम स्टिकिंग टू गैदर द ब्रोकन पीसेस ऑफ अमीर शीशा गढ़ ठहरे हैं हम गिर हैं शीशों की जिया सांस रोक के दिल को थामे खोलते जाते हैं हम डॉक्टर आमिर अवान वे लाइक दी so the when to exchange or consider when it is symptomatic only then you consider repositioning or exchange of intraocular lens your clinical examination may be horrible to look at but if the patient is not symptomatic there is no diplopia or no confusion then please don't do that only if the patient is symptomatic and the displacement of the lens is enough to cause symptoms then you decide to exchange or reposition the intraocular lens the symptoms are glare diplopia confusion double vision as you know on other complications of a misbehaving iul may be cme glaucoma etc and the reasons are either i has got some inherent problem like pseudo exfoliation syndrome or it is a kind of progress progressive subluxation disease which was not taken care of during primary surgery or there may be trauma but most of the cases we all agree are surgeon induced weaknesses or malpositioning which ultimately leads to need to reposition the intraocular lens but i don't prefer anterior chamber iuls there are to me the place of an intraocular lens is behind the iris this is our 25 to 30 years of experience which have told us that it is easy to learn easy to implant but ultimately especially in young patients it leads to devastating complications like bullous keratopathy and other things so in sight to this The author carries no financial interest in this video. Here is the best video clip. In this clip, I am going to show the hard PMMA lens repositioning. As you can see very well, the lens is dislocated into the mid vitreous. The upper haptic is visible in the pupil. It was referred from the periphery, and uh, the lens was in this position for about two three years, and we decided repositioning. to 2.75 mm in c and for performed and uh, fixation sites were prepared and then the lens is being retrieved into the anterior chamber with the help of a uh, forceps and sinski hook and then the sinski hook goes from the opposite in c and we gently dial the lens into the anterior chamber one needs to be very gentle because one can easily break the haptic and the haptic can dislocate in the posterior vitreous as well then the vitrectomy follows two port anterior core vitrectomy is being performed and the remnants of the 
capital bag and serial area from where the technique is that the check of the IUL haptics and then there is IUL jump after deepening the anterior chamber with viscoelastic using T2 Silsky hooks I just rotate the IUL so that it is in clock wise position and then two Sinsky hooks are used on respective machines to externalize the optics of the IUL 10 0 proline suture with long needle straight comes into the picture and the recession suture is passed in already fashioned tunnel one millimeter behind the nimbus the needle is shaped from the opposite 2.75 millimeter in CN, and then the suture is retrogradely retrieved through the CN from which the IUL haptic has been already externalized. The haptic of the IUL is tied to the suture end with 2.1 knot, and same procedure is repeated at the opposite fixation site. And the other haptic is tied. Then the IUL is being dialed behind the iris with the Sinsky hook. Both partial thickness scleral bite is taken, and the sutures are secured to itself at both fixation sites. The a middle-aged male presented with subluxated capsular bag with multi-piece acrylic foldable PCIOL secondary to pseudo-exfoliation syndrome. Pre-op visual acuity was counting fingers and improved to 6 by 18 with aphakic correction. In situ repositioning with double haptic scleral fixation of IOL was planned under local anesthesia. <laughs> Partial thickness scleral tunnels was prepared at fixation site. Two paracentesis were performed. Anterior chamber was formed with injection methyl cellulose. Transcleral 10 0 proline fixation suture was passed one millimeter behind limbus. 20. I will not because I have already listened to him suture for half an hour. Was retrieved at opposite limbal paracentesis using the cannula as a guide. L haptic this time. <laughs> the chairman and the moderator Next can change. Style. I'll continue. Solera sulcus by applying gentle traction on the sutures. The fix. So this was in situ repositioning of two cases. And uh, the beauty with this technique is that you don't need to take the lens out. Just with the intelligent passage of modification of McAllen suture you can reposition the lens whether it's a hard lens but the condition needed here is that the lens need to be intact the haptics should not be broken or cut already only then you can reposition the lens and the dimensions of the lens should be good enough for sulcus fixation the lens to be placed in the sulcus need to be round edged lenses with overall diameter of 13 millimeters if you are sure that your lens fulfills these criteria you can easily reposition the lens by technique dem demonstrated here. This is known as Langda lens here. It has got both haptics are partially cut, but the capsule bag and the interior axis all are intact. So I decided instead of taking it out, I've just captured the kind of inverse capture. I captured the IUL haptic into the bag and the stumps of those remaining haptics were left out anterior to the bag and the, it got well centered and we didn't need to exchange it. So that optic capture is one option if you are able to open the capsular bag. I'm 
very quick now. Don't worry. <laughs> Sarji, to see, you are not doing the justice. We never warned you <laughs> on your turn. We were so patient and quiet. Sara, time miracling karna jyun. थोड़ा सा टाइम उससे भी ले ले अरुण से भी सो इन दिस वीडियो क्लिप वी हैव जस्ट रीडायल्ड एंड ब्रॉड दैट डिसलोकेटेड लेंस थ्रू द रेंट विदाउट एन लार्जिंग एट इंटीरियरली एंड देन वी डायल्ड इट अवे फ्रॉम द रेंट द क्राइटेरिया हियर इज If your PC is intact, about two third, that is, the rent is extending to less than a quadrant, then you can place both the IOL haptics, repositioning them them away from the rent. If your PC is there about 180 degrees, it can support one IOL haptic, and if the remain remnants of the PC are less than 180 degrees, it cannot support. You need to stitch both of the IOL haptics. so this was a, this is again iol capture video and there was a video of modified imanes technique which i am going to skip and you can go to our iequity.com i edu i equity education portal and we have got recently the 15 lectures about 20 hours of feco complications and basics and advanced course all these videos are there for your kind review thank you very much देखने के लिए जो आप पेशे पांच मिनट भी ना देखे रिकॉर्डिंग स्टार्ट कर one like this 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 one